Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and today I'm going to show you how to do animated GIFs, GIFs, whatever you want to call it, in um, Rain Meter. And real quick, you might be wondering what's going on here. Basically, this is supposed to be a weather map, but for some reason, the weather, uh, the actual weather site that grabs the stuff from, their servers are down temporarily. I don't know when it's going to come back up, and if you're might as well just get this video out of the way instead of waiting for that to come up. And you can see in my past videos what it's supposed to look like. But um, in this and um, and pretty much all of my other th themes will be in the description down below. I have a Dropbox link where you can just have a direct link to it. And also I'll have uh, videos down below on um, how to fix the weather problems and also um, how to uh, get this working in the first place. So as far as that goes, let's uh, jump on in. Now, as far as the animated stuff, I'm talking about the things like the, um, like for example, this um, thing right here, the Gengar, and um, you know something like that, uh, being animated and whatever. And um, as far as that goes, uh, it's fairly simple to make and um, and. I'll have a links down below to all this stuff, but you need to go to this first link. It'll be down below. And basically what you need to do is download that. And also on the very bottom, download that, which is, um, it, basically you're, you're able to get, uh, gifts online by just, uh, searching for them, just find it wherever Google, wherever. And then, um, you can actually split them. Uh, split apart by frames and, and upload it to your files. But anyways, um, so just download both of those and find the GIFs. And by the way, that's the actual first one. That's that. And you might notice that this one's much, much, much larger. This Mimic U is much larger than, than that one. Uh, the way to fix it is basically, I, I'll leave a link down below for this, but this is a um, resizer. And what you want to do is just upload. So, for example, like this, um, I found it on Google. And you can just copy the image address. Make sure it's not the image, but the image address. Um, or or just copy the link to the image if you actually um, have it up like that. And it should have, like, .gif at the end. And um, paste it into here. And uh, just press upload, and you will get something like this. Now, what I found is uh, the best way to make sure it's the right size, like if you got something in mind, then uh, make sure that this, the, the web page is not zoomed in or zoomed out at all. Make sure it's 100%. And what you want to do is, so for example, right here, I sized this down by 22% of that. And yeah, as you can see here, it is, sorry about that. Um, Right here, it would actually fit into that little ball thing, which was what I wanted to do originally, but it's moving way too fast and it's too bright for my taste. Um, so as far as that goes, let's just notice that. Now, um, and and that's that's like the best way you can do. You might have to go back and forth a few times, but it's notes that you know, like you can move the window around and everything, but the image should stay the same exact size because of um, the the actual website's not reactive in that format, which is good. Um, but, I mean, for this particular website, that's good. But um, that also lets you know, okay, this is the um, size you're going to get. So, um, is that too big or too small or whatever it may be? So, um, as far as that goes, um, so I got this one and basically what you want to do is save that. So with this, um, make sure with this, you don't press that. Uh, if you do resize it, make sure you go down here and press save and you should be able to get a GIF from that. And, um, like again, you can get this stuff from Google, whatever. Now from here, you need to go ahead and click the, uh, skin that, um, the first thing I had you download and go ahead and press install, leave everything as is. What it does is it takes off, it, it um, adds the new skin, but it closes the entire rain meter and opens it back up with the new skin. So just note that. 
Now, as far as this, this is the animated thing that came with Rain Meter. As far as that little thing I had you download, just unload that. And what I want you to do now is go to the manager, the Rain Meter manager. Find examples, animated GIF, uh, GIF, whatever you want to call it. And what you want to do is right click and open folder. That way you can get direct access to it. Go ahead and uh, kill off the bitmap. You don't need that. And also that bitmap, and you don't need that. Go in here and kill off all that. So you don't need any of them. And um, as far as that goes, you can go ahead and skin, rename this, do whatever you want um, at this point. Um, go ahead and go into... Um, and next thing that we need to do is go to the GIF frame exe that I had you download and um, open up the GIF that you are, want, want to mess with and notice that you'll get a still image um, if you got a preview one open on Windows. Keep in mind this is Windows 10, but you'll get a preview so you can actually see what you're editing. Now what you want to do is save all, go and find the area that uh, we were just in which should be in the documentary uh, documents are the rain meter skin the example or whatever you renamed it as resource and image frames press ok and as far as this goes um, this is fairly important um, let's see if I can bring that up, back up so what I want to do is go into here, just double click that to so open up notepad. And as far as this goes, you want to rename that this. So what we're going to do is just copy that, paste that right there and leave the percentage, make sure the percentages are there. It's basically what it's trying to do is say, okay, what do you want to name these files? Um, so, so with this being an, an an example um, this code what it's looking for is the uh, following where it's it's looking for the file to start with loading and then a minus sign and then whatever number and right here it's saying that um, name the actual file loading minus sign and then whatever number that's necessary so one two three whatever and then from here, what you want to do is you can leave it either PNG or, or JPEG. For this instance, I recommend just leaving it at PNG. And what we want to do is pre just press OK. Go back in here, just make sure that everything's loaded right. And then going back into the text file, what we want to do is, so we got nine frames. It has a nine right there. So what you want to do is go ahead and put in nine here and press save and um the, because what's going to end happen is if you like put like two or three what's going to do is is it's going to go from that frame that from that frame and go back and um that that's uh, that's what this code is telling it to do so from here um let's go ahead and minimize that minimize that and minimize that what we want to do is go ahead and double click that if you did rename this then go ahead and shut down the entire rain meter and, and open it back up and you should see the rename there uh, but and notice that this is still there but we don't have it so we have to shut it down and open it back up in order for that show but anyway see as we uh, got this and it's a little bit too bright for me and um, it's moving a little bit too fast I can see right here be a little bit too much in fact, a lot too much. But um, notice that it is moving kind of fast. We can actually adjust this. So let me close both of those so I can get the right one. And um, what you want to do is go back into that document, the text document. And up here, if you increase the number, it is going to go slower. If you decrease the number, it's going to go faster. So for this instance, let's go for like, uh, I don't know, 150, see if it makes a difference. And um, see if it slows it down. It slows down a little bit. Let's go for a dramatic effect and let's go for about 300. And save that. And then right click to refresh. 
and notice that it massively slows that down. So why is this important to note? Well, this uh, Mimic Q, the uh, first one that we have here, this I actually had to, let's go ahead and load, load that. Uh, this I had to edit the uh, one, what I found is, one, uh, I was experimenting with that, one or zero. Anything below one is it acts the same. So it was at 100. Save that. Refresh that. And you can see how slow it is. It's way too slow. Let's go down to one. And uh, as you can see here, yeah, it, it, it's moving, whatever. I never tried negatives. I don't know what negatives. If it, if it would take it, yeah, it's it's not taking it. So I'm guessing zero is the lowest number you can go here. Anything below that is just gonna be whatever. So just note that um, if you need to go much faster, that um, zero is the lowest number you can go. And if you take this out altogether, it, it won't update. It'll just stay the same. So basically what that update is saying is, let's go ahead and um, move this back to the desktop. Um, basically what that's saying, this update is um, for this to look for um, the given file, um, go up uh, by one frame from whatever last one, the max frames for this particular one is 200. So there's 200 frames for that particular one. And, um, and then um, f for this to say how fast to update. So from uh, one, zero, uh, one, one, two, three, whatever, how much of a delay do you want? Um, and this, it, it's, it's a fairly, you know, detailed one. So it needs about no delay at all. So with that being said, I think the actual thing is supposed to be like 0.2, but it's zero so close that it, it doesn't matter. I, I, I don't know the difference. Now, as far as the next problem that you might face is getting the things to load properly. So for example, with this is, um, I want these, the, both the Gengar and the, the other to uh, mimic you to load behind the blue so it looks like it's captured within it so it looks like it's captured within the uh some type of force field over here and you know whatever on that side so you do you deal with the load or you, you both you need to make sure both is on the desktop and i'll suggest make sure both is not draggable or anything like that so you know you save their space but uh make sure that they're both at zero or whatever low number and then for example like this i want to uh make sure that loads first uh or th this um blue it loads over top of it so say for example this mimic is at load or zero with this i'll make it load order one because how how rain meter works is it loads from the lowest number to the highest number so you can actually do some prevent stuff if you want in that order. But um, right here where I just want it to load that item first, the Mimic Q first, and then load this other. So it, it always looks like it is um, trapped into something. Um, otherwise, what's going to end up happening is it would, um, I don't know if it will show it. Um, but it will look like something like that, where it's above. So otherwise, you'll get that effect. And I don't want it to be covering all this other stuff. Whereas here, if I have it load order one, so it loads the Mimic U first, then the other. You can see that it has this other extra animation and looks like it's breathing and, and all the other stuff. Um, so you can get cool things like that. Uh, make sure that you have the safe position on and all the other stuff. And, um, and yeah. But anyways, as far as that goes, um, if you got any questions, anything else, then feel free to leave them down in the comment section 
or email it to me. My email is on the about section of this uh, channel or go to my website and go to the contact me and um, and just feel free to send me an email through that method. But anyways, uh, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, share, and let me know what you want me to cover in future videos and whatnot. And, uh, and I'll see you in a future video. Hope you have a great day. Oh, and I forgot to add something real quick. Um, so real quick, if you wanted to, you can actually go, like, like for example, this Mimic or, or whatever with the size of it. You can put a file underneath it and you can actually press the click through. So for example, I can have the click through through all the layers. And basically what would end up happening is it will be as if I'm clicking the file right below it. Um, there's that ability, but personally, I don't really keep anything on my desktop. I don't really see a point of it. Unless if it's like in form of like the weather and, and, and just decorative stuff like that. But anyways, hope you have a great day.